Welcome back to consecutive day 800, sorry, 908 of a diary of a rumpreneur. Please give this a subscribe, share, like, comment. Um, as the more people get in front of them, the more money raise on my fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon. Uh, all the information is in the link in the comments below. Thank you for your support as always, and let's get started. So, consecutive day, 908 of a diary of a rompreneur. Bit of a manic day today. Everything seems to have just been manic today. <laughs> I.e., for one, it's Black Friday. So, doing online shopping for Christmas generally is a, is a Black Friday thing. So, trying to find some time to do a bit of Christmas shopping is, uh, is always fun. Uh, two, it's the England game tonight in the World Cup. Their second match, they play uh, USA. Uh, they won their first match 6 2. And, um, should they win tonight against the USA, they'll be through to the knockout stages, which is would be super cool. So uh, I'm rushing at my son's football training session. I'm doing a run while he's training. Then I have a half an hour window of opportunity to whip home, get changed, shower if possible, and take the kids over to a friend's house where we're watching the football later. So a little bit of a manic one. And today's been a little bit disruptive as well because um, I went to see a, one of my oldest friends, one of my bestest friends, and... Um, he recently had an accident with one of these electric scooters. You, you mean you probably have them uh, all over the, the country, all over the world now in cities where you kind of hire these scooters by the second or the minute. It's use, you use an app on your smartphone and then you, off you zoop, zip. You have to drop it off in key drop off position. You pick it up in key sections and you're charged for the duration that you're utilising it. And um, he actually had a pretty serious accident one um, not long ago and uh, was heavily concussed. He um, came off it, no helmet, because most people don't wear helmets on them. And uh, he was out cold for about 10 minutes in the middle of a road. And um, fortunately, it was a residential road, so there was no traffic. But um, yeah, he had to have a couple of days in A&E, and uh, they were monitoring him, do all the scans. Fortunately, it appears that he's managed to have a lucky escape, but he's now struggling with double vision. And it could be like this for the next three months. So um, yeah, word of warning, anybody who's on those electric scooters, there's no law to have helmets on at this moment in time, but there certainly needs to be because they are seriously dangerous if, um, if you haven't got a helmet. I've been on them before without a helmet as well, uh, so I'm not preaching uh, to the, what I don't, what I'm not uh, guilty of as well. And, uh, but yeah, real eye opener. He had a real lucky escape there. Um, well, hopefully he's had a lucky escape. Hopefully he'll make a, f a full recovery. Um, but yeah, life is very precious and taking unnecessary risks on those death traps is, uh, is not potentially ideal. But anyway, that's uh, pretty much it for me today. Um, I am rushing to try and, and get home so I can catch the England game, so uh, it's a short vlog today. But uh, the moral to the story is, if you're using one of those electric scooters, please wear a helmet. That's it for me today. Any questions or comments, drop me a line, I'll respond to everyone. But uh, do give us a subscribe, share, like, comment, as the more people we get in front of, the more money we raise on my fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon. Thanks for your support. Stay positive, stay happy, and I'll see you again tomorrow.